Okay, now in this video, we want to differentiate some functions using the basic differentiation rule. All right, good. Okay, so in our series, we started with a function such as this, a constant function, and we observed that the derivative of every constant is just zero. And then we entered with the power function, just x raised to some power, for example, x squared, right? When we differentiate that, we will do that applying this rule, which we did. And then, now in this video, we'll be looking at the fourth and the fifth um, functions and then their respective rules. So we have the fourth one to be a function plus another function, right? The derivative of a function that has sum of two or three terms. Okay, here I'm just showing two terms. If you have a function that has a term plus another term, then the derivative of that sum is the derivative of the first function plus the derivative of the second function. So you see f dash of x, right, coming from f of x, and then g dash of x coming from g of x. So when we differentiate the function, this is the notation I'm making use of, just uh, f dash of x for brevity. Good. Okay, so we're going to apply that fourth rule on these first two examples, and then we're going to apply this fifth rule on these last two examples. This just tells us when we have the difference of two functions, the derivative of the difference of two functions, right, is the difference of the derivative. Good. Okay, so let's see what we've got. So the first one, we have 2x plus 3. So this uh, first example is just a function that has sum of two terms, right? Okay, so the, the first rule tells us when we have that, we just have to differentiate the first term and add it with differentiate the second term. As simple as that. So we come over here and take the derivative of that, of that sum, that is 2x, right, plus 3. Okay, so the derivative of that sum is going to be, we differentiate the first part and then add it with differentiate the second part. So we have the first part to just be 2x. So to differentiate 2x, okay, we're going to use the third rule, which tells us when we have a constant, multiplying a function, we just need to keep that constant and then uh, differentiate the function part, which we did in our previous video. Okay, so let's see. We differentiate 2x, we're going to have 2 times, well, the derivative of um, x with respect to x is just 1, right? So you multiply that 2 with the derivative of x with respect to x. Great. So you, when you have a constant multiplying with a function, you just need to keep that constant and differentiate the function part. So I've keep the constant 2, I've kept that, and now differentiate this x, which is just going to give us 1. Good. And then um, plus, now, we now have to apply this rule, which tells us that we differentiate the first function, we add it with, differentiate the second function. So we differentiate 3 with respect to x. Well, from a knowledge of constant function, when we differentiate them, we're just going to have 0. So the derivative of that 3 is just going to give us 0. And all in all, we we'll enter with 2 times 1, which is just 2, plus 0. So 2 plus 0 will give us 2. So that 2 there is the derivative of that first function. Good. Okay, so let's see what we've got in the second example. We have to differentiate x squared plus x. Hmm. Well, that's a quadratic function, but it doesn't matter. All we just need to do is to apply some rules and break it down, right? Good. So let's go ahead and differentiate that with respect to x. That is, x squared plus x. Okay. All right. So the first part gives us x squared, then we add it with the second part, which is just x. Okay, so the derivative of x squared, we're just going to apply power rule in on that. That tells us when we have x raised to some power, we will need to bring the power down, multiply with the x, and subtract 1 from the power. So what we need to do is to bring this power down, which is the 2. Okay, so we bring down the 2, multiply it with x, and subtract 1 from the power. So the power here was 2, we subtract 1 from 2, we're going to have just 1, right? And x raised to power 1 is the same thing as x, so I don't want to write the power. Good. Again, we add it with, as the rule tells us, when you differentiate this one, you now add it with and differentiate this one, right? So we differentiate x squared, we now keep it and then add it with, we differentiate x. Well, the derivative of x with respect to x, using the power rule, that is always going to be 1, right? Because the power of x here in this second function is just 1. So if you differentiate that, you will see that just going to enter with 1. Great. If we simplify that further, we're going to see we're going to have 2x plus 1 to be the derivative of that second function. Great. And then the third one tells us 
that 3x minus x cubed is what we have to differentiate, all right? Okay, so I'm going to put down the usual notation, the derivative with respect to x of 3x uh, minus x cubed. Good. Well, looking at the first example, we had 2x. The derivative gave us just 2, all right? And then the second example, we have x here. Let's look at the linear terms. We have just x here, and the derivative of x gives us 1. Of course, from um, our study of derivative of function using the first principle, we see that whenever we have a, fun a number times a function, the derivative will just give us that coefficient, given that this x here is being raised to power 1, right? So when we have the derivative of 3x, the result is just going to give us 3, which is just the coefficient. So three, the derivative of this 3x is just going to be 3. Then we minus it with, again, we differentiate x raised to the power 3 using the power rule. We're going to have 3, right? Bring down the power, multiply with x, and subtract 1 from the power. Good. So we're going to enter with 3 minus, then x, all right? We put down the x, and then we subtract 1 from that 3. That is just going to give us 2 as a new power. And this right here is the derivative of that function. It's not too difficult, right? Good. And lastly, we have a very interesting function here, 1 over x. Hmm. Well, I'm going to rewrite each of these in such a way that it's either going to give us a power function or we're going to have a, a constant multiple function with a constant multiple. Or we have the both case. The both case is as in this step. This last question, this x, 1 over x here, can write it as x raised to the power negative 1, right? Good. Which is just the same thing using exponent rules. Okay, good. And then we subtract it with minus, well, um, again, this is 2x all raised to power 2. So, we're gonna, we, so we can split the power to every term here, right? Since they are just multiplied together. So we have this power go with these two, we're going to have the 4 because 2 raised to the power 2 is going to be 4, and then x raised to the power 2 is just x squared. Okay, I didn't point this out to you, that this third function and this fourth function, they are going to follow the fifth rule, which tells us when we have the difference of two functions, derivative is going to be the difference of the derivative of those two functions, all right? Good. So we have this function minus this function. So differentiating that, we're going to take the difference of the derivative, right? But let's just go ahead and differentiate that, right? So I'm going to put down the derivative notation. So this is going to be the derivative with respect to x of these two things. Good. Well, we're going to apply the power rule here. We have x raised to the power negative 1. That is going to be negative x. And then we subtract 1 from that power. You know, when you bring down negative 1, that is going to be negative 1 times. You put down the x, right? Negative 1 times x is just negative x. You subtract 1 from this 1, so this is negative 1. You subtract 1 from it, good. And then minus, this is a constant multiple, 4 times something, all right? When you're differentiating that, you're just going to keep the 4 first and then differentiate this something, right? Now, since that something is x squared, we're going to have to bring the power down and then subtract 1 from that power, all right? So you subtract 1 from that. Well, this is not too hard to see. That when we do the simplifications, this is going to be negative x raised to the power minus 2. No, negative 1 minus 1 is just negative 2. And since it's negative 2 as a power, it will bring this guy down, right? In this form, we're going to have negative of 1 over x squared. That is for the first part, right? Now we have negative 2 exponent. We're going to bring the x down and raise it to um, the power 2 without the negative. Good. We subtract it with 4 times 2 is just going to give us 8. So we minus 8. And then x raised to the power 2 minus 1. Well, that's just x raised to the power 1, which is just x. Good. And that right there is the derivative of that last function. Okay, great. All right. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel.